station, Romeo. They began reacting to bright lights, retreating to the dark corner. They were my friends and colleagues not so long ago. Turn it off. Hey, Isaac! Turn it Isaac? off. Isaac? Papa, what's going on? Hey! The markers have to be stopped. And all the clues lead here. They're everywhere. Get a weapon for everyone. It's happening again. Everyone's dying around me. We're the only hope of saving our entire race. You can do or die. We're stuck without your help. Are you with me? Are you with me? Are you with me? I hope you're with me, cause here we go again. Welcome back to the channel. It's wanna be 12G. We're starting a new let's play for Dead Space 3. Starting brand new, off the top, getting going. <clears throat> I hope you all like Dead Space 2. I know in my, if you watched the last last play of uh, Dead Space 2, I, I kind of crapped on Dead Space 3 a couple times. Said, you know, oh, it's not as good of a game, ODA ruined it, oh, whatever, whatever, whatever. That all being said, um... Bunch of DLC that's tied to my account. Yeah, yeah, got it. Um, that being said, this is still a good game. It's not a bad game. It's different. It's not the the way I would have made it. And again, I'm not a game developer. Regardless, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it to it, and it's gonna be fun. All right. Let's just do it on normal. I'll do it on hard. I'm a good guy. A good it dead space. It started 300 years ago. Oh, it shows it anyway. Discovery of the black marker, an alien artifact found under the old Gulf of Mexico on Earth. It seemed to hold the promise of limitless energy until it produced dementia, insanity, and a twisted life after death known as necromorphs. The details of the original black marker disaster were buried in cover-ups and conspiracies, but not before an entire religion could be launched in the name of one of its researchers, Michael Altman. His questionable death turned him into a martyr, and Unitology was born. To this day, it thrives. A secretive organization that believes the markers are divine and their plan for us, a glorious unity of mind, body, and spirit. Generations after the black market disaster, mankind found himself going extinct from lack of resources. Desperate, he sought to replicate the black marker in an attempt to harness its limitless energies for himself. The records of this era are unclear, but we now know the replication was successful but the cost too high. The marker copies were all buried, hidden in secret places across the universe where, to all our benefit, they might have stayed. But 200 years later, during an illegal mining operation on Aegis 7, the planet cracker USG Ishimura unearthed one of the forgotten copies, a red marker. And with it, the start of a new wave of marker infections. A key survivor of that incident was an engineer named Isaac Clark. That marker spoke to him and left him with a gift, a mental blueprint of the marker itself. 
Isaac was captured and tortured by Earthgum, his mind harvested for the Marker's secrets. The Marker program was thus restarted, and a new one built on the populous Titan Sprawl. The disaster quickly followed. He managed to escape, but just barely. There was nothing left but dust, just like Aegis Seven. Since that time, the marker crisis has only deepened, and Isaac Clarke, his marker touch mind still burning with the ability to build or destroy them, stays in hiding, determined to retreat from the markers and all they have wrought. But there is hope. A backwater ice ball of a planet, where 200 years ago, someone, somehow, stopped a marker uprising in its tracks. A clue from the past that may save our future. Here we go. Starting off with a flashback. Credits, but not really, not yet. Oh, why take your helmet off at random? Why? Alpha Niner, this is Whiskey Two Five Zero. Alpha Niner, this is Whiskey Two Five Zero. Serrano, do you read me? Tim! Oh, thank God! Did you find it? Find it? Doc, I'm not even sure what we're looking for. Just, uh, follow the waypoints I sent you. I... I can't tell you anymore. Just get there! Do, do you hear me? You have to get there! What? Oh, it's lost! What? Dang it! <laughs> I don't know if they just wanted to show off the face or what, but that was, I don't know, it was weird. We'll trudge through the snow here. Okay, Tim, you can do this. Oh, he's dependent on you. You're a soldier, right? <laughs> right. Gun's not even loaded. <laughs> You're not off to a good start, Mr. Tim. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. <laughs> Finally, some ammunition. I do like in this game how they made it like the military weapons like actually military-ish. Oh. Hello there. Oh, you have an axe in the back. Ooh. You're ugly. You got no head. That was messy. Found a way in. Good. You're looking for a cylinder. About half a meter long. Do you see it? Ah! 
Something that's both annoying and convenient about this game is that ammunition is now all universal. Oh. Ew, gross. Oh. And he's still alive. So pretty much like all ammunition types can be used for every weapon. Yeah. Those guys, I think they're called fodder. Yeah, fodder. I think they're called. They make some like weird, like snotty sounds. There it is. The thing. I got it. Doc, I got it. <laughs> oh, got too excited there, buddy. <laughs> Jim, where are you? Hey, Doc, I'm hanging from a cliff, uh, but I got whatever this is. The codex! It's the key to saving everything! Meet me at the silo and don't stop for anyone! Going down. Hold up. Go down. Go faster. Oh, jeez. My goodness. Down the middle. Whoa. <laughs> My goodness, everybody just gets so so thrown around in these games. Get up, Tim, you're fine. Ew. Young soldiers, every one of them. General Mahan, sir. Where's Dr. Serrano? Earl Serrano, always the optimist. Well, he said I should take this into the city. He said there's still time to stop it, sir. There's still time. We lost control. And now, for the love of Earth and the sovereign colonies, we've got to do what's right. You love the Earth, son. Your mom and dad. You... Yeah, yes, sir, of course. Good. Glad to hear that. That's rude, General Mahad, sir. That's very rude. That's, and that's rude too to the person who's got to come clean this mess up, whose name is Isaac Clark. Hasn't he been through enough? Apparently not, because they had to make a third game. Now we're on the moon. Playback message 34. Isaac, I know you're there. Come on, pick up the phone. Fine. Look, I just called to say I'm moving on. I have to. Just take care of yourself, okay? Goodness. 
Let this deranged man keep this industrial mining tool. You as Clark, get the fuck off. Answer me! Tim? Who the hell are you? Lift him up. Have a lot of time, so I want to make this brief. I understand you're something of an expert on markers. You created one. I didn't make shit. Your government made me. And you destroyed two, which is why we're here. We got a job for you. No. No! I'm done with that. You find somebody else for your suicide mission. We did. Before we lost contact with her, she told us to find you. Ellie. Where is she? What'd you do to her? Where is she? Oh Unitologists have breached the inner concourse. We can't hold them! Captain, run out of time, gotta go! She's out there all alone, Isaac, and I can't help her unless you help me. Okay. Okay! I want to spoil this game for y'all, but I won't. It's... <laughs> it should be obvious. The passage of trust in this game just falls so quickly. Yes. Break into this guy's house. Punch him in the face. Immediately throw him a gun. And trust him not to just shoot him in the back. What else is in here? Poor Isaac. On top of all he's been through, he has a rough love life. Broke his window. He hasn't cleaned his toilet. He hasn't cleaned his shower. This room is a mess. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Isaac. I'm so sorry. What's it say? Playback. Message 33. Caller. Earthrise Apartment. This message is for the residents of Apartment 16. Your rent is past due. This is your final notice. Failure to pay in three days will result in eviction. And he's getting evicted. Well, too bad. We're leaving and we're not okay. going back. I said I'd help you. Now, where's Ellie? How long has she been missing? Just shut up and get over here. We'll explain later. What's over here? Was there a way to go? Something over here? I'm sorry, I'm just looking around at this point. I know which way to go. I just... I hear a doggy. Not... Be quiet, doggy. Alright. Hey, who the hell are you guys? Earth Gov's last battalion. Name's Norton. Ooh. Captain Robert <laughs> Norton. Sergeant John Carver. Last battalion? What do you mean? Last means last, genius, as in no more left. Looks clear. No more left? There's our right. Let's go. Crouch is X. I couldn't remember the button. No. Oh, jeez. Get out there, you. That was excessive. That was excessive and obnoxious. All right, go. Isaac, move. Take cover. Ooh. So on top of necromorphs in this game, you gotta fight just regular old soldiers too. Weapon is not reliable. There we go. Try to aim for the head, but it just don't work. Oh dear. Kaboom. These are unitologists. Why are they trying to kill us? You. They're trying to kill you. What? <laughs> just get out of there. Shut your trap. Son of Say, stay out of this spotlight. I know that's not going to end well if we get in that spotlight. Maybe I have to? Oh, I missed. Yay. Anything behind here? 
Anything up there? No. And they have ladders in this game too, which is something different. You know, with usually every little time you had to go up or down was a a, a low angle ramp. Oh. You've destroyed markers in the past, Isaac. I make you a direct threat to their plan. Plan. Some end time prophecy based on the markers. Conversions? Yeah, Ellie thinks you can stop it. So now she's missing and they followed you here? Yes, now get to the roof of the Dredger Corp building. There's an extraction team waiting. Have you seen this man? Please. Where is he? I don't know. Oh, man. Nobody stops for anything. Oh. You up there, too? Get got. But yeah, like... In Dead Space 1 and 2, every time you had to go up or down, it was always like a, a full-fledged elevator. Oh. Oh, he got hit by a car. A full-fledged elevator or like a low-angle ramp. Shit. I've hit the freeway. Then cross it. They're unmanned transports. They don't stop for anything. I've still got my stasis unit. I'll slow the traffic and get across. Oh. <laughs> Isaac, why are you so destructive to public property? Oops. Oops, he says. A collectible. We shall view it. You be quiet. I'll do what I want. <laughs> He's too fast. I'm literally walking at the same speed as you. Explosions. Let me use my plasma cutter. Oh my. Brothers and sisters. The age of man is at an end. We have become too many. Too little to go around. Corporations that we once trusted with our money have squandered it. Oh, shush. Norton, this isn't just a manhunt. It's systematic money. slaughter. Oh, you know it. Well, why topple the government? Why are they? Danik blames them for experimenting with the markers. Take the territory. So you can imagine what they think of you. Have you reached the extraction site yet? I'm almost there. So that guy on the TV is the leader of the unitologist or whatever. I believe we're about to meet him, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he's kind of an interesting character. Oh, yep, here he is. And Isaac gets shot. This one's still alive. Bring him here. Looking for. Oh, don't waste your energy. You're going to be dead in a matter of minutes. Pick him up. There's something I'd like you to see. There. You see that? That's a marker test lab. They're everywhere at all the major colonies and outposts. What do you want from me? As part of the marker test program, Isaac, you helped make them. And today, you of all people get to watch me set them free. No. No. You'll kill everyone. Death is only the beginning, Isaac. Nature must take its course, and I can't allow you or anyone else to stop that. Eyes forward, Isaac. Pay attention. And now it's time for you to join the cycle of rebirth. You missed! Ew. So here's like where this game becomes confusing to me. Like the story. So if the marker signal turns bodies into necromorphs, dead bodies into necromorphs, why isn't that giant pile of bodies crawling to life right now? Like, 
I, I, I don't know. Why does it like affect the ones that it wants to? I know, I know, it's a game, but it's my favorite game, so well, question it. Oh, oh lovely. Shit. Bring it on. I can't see. Move the thing. Uh -huh. Ow. No. Shoot your head off. Let me shoot your leg off. Oh my god. <laughs> that uh that took me by surprise there. I forgot that these guys in the beginning part it doesn't do it, but after after the beginning part, these fodder guys they turn into different things based on the way you dismember them. Like yeah, I shot his legs off and then he turned into like a, a big tentacle monster. It's kind of a cool thing. Dredger Corp. Alright, let's move on. That's a regular old looking Necromorph. They give me stuff, so I appreciate them. Stuff, stuff. Stuff and things. Hey, buddy. Oh, all right, all still. Oh, got him. Shoot. I thought I was going to get ahead there for a second. I forget. I forget. In this game, there's no save stations. I was like running around like a maniac looking for a save station, and I forget that it just auto saves. I have a ton of health packs. So in the last let's play, I like. Isaac, never mind. Have you reached the extraction team yet? All dead. Danik got here first. Danik is his name. Fuck. Then find a way out of the city. I'm coming in with the Eudora. Washington Station's not far. I can ride one of the trains out. Good plan. See you on the tracks. In the last Let's Play, I'd like end episodes based on, you know, the um, save stations. But now I don't know where I'm going to do it. This way then. A toy store. I'm glad there's none of those little heathens over there. Oh, I, I need more ammunition. I don't need all these health packs. Hey, shut up. <laughs> uh, sure, I'll take a bigger one. Hey there. Hey, buddy old power friend. And still. My goodness, these fodder guys are tough. Ooh. Stomp him right in the head. Or lack of head. Who's next? Ooh. Oh jeez! Oh my goodness! Ah! What an angry, angry alleyway this is, or street. Moving on. Ooh! Okay, moving on. Oh! And I can't hit anything. 
anything. <laughs> no eating me. No. Yikes, I'm a bad shot. Okay. Down. Whew. Okay. The train station, finally. No trains. Okay. I made it to the train station. What about Danik's man? I lost him in the panic. This outbreak may buy us some time. We'll grab the train. Let's go. No good. Looks like the train was getting refitted with a new power car. So? I'm gonna have to put it back together. Do it fast. Danik's gunships are far off. We'll try to draw them away then. Be fast. <laughs> the, uh, whoa. Train assembly incomplete. Please attach engine and fuel car before initiating departure sequence. The, uh, engineering puzzles or tasks in this game are a lot less fun. <laughs> sparks <laughs> okay so I know what I said I know what I said I like this game oh people are dragging me you still haven't told me what happened to Ellie okay. now's not the best time I think is she alive last I saw her was a keyhole station she said she was onto something big shocked out to some secret coordinates and then we lost contact I know your ex-girlfriend very well she's still alive and mad as hell we haven't found her yet <laughs> I know I said that I was going to enjoy this game, play it, I like it, but at the same time, this whole game I'm going to criticize it because it deserves criticism, so bear with me. Oh! oh. It's down. Ah, here comes the cavalry. All right. Gordon, which ship is the Eudora? The bigger one that just flew over your head. The bigger one. <laughs> All right, we're going. Ah, shit! Lost the main battery. Isaac, get your ass up here. I'm trying. I got ladders to climb up and down. I got people to shoot in the face. <laughs> Stomp their rib cages and steal their stuff. Oh, I missed. Okay, okay. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Let me up. Oh, come on, Isaac. Come on. You're better than this. <laughs> All right. Oh, we're good. We made it. We're alive. <sighs> Who's that? The boy. Cute kid. You leave him behind. He's dead. Dad had killed him and his mother. I'm sorry. Don't be. We're not friends. <laughs> well, thanks for the rescue back there. Try harder next time. Carver, find a we get. Yeah. Good, we're almost there. Get your asses to the bridge. You heard the man. So, uh, this game comes with co-op, and Sergeant John Carver is the other op of the co, and he's a huge jerk. I've actually never played the co-op because I have no friends that own this game anyway. <laughs> um, so I know he's just kind of 
tacked on, quote unquote, to have somebody to be co-op. But he is such a jerk. Every interaction you have with him in this game, he is such a meanie. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. We are on the Edora. Moving on to somewhere else. Want to be 12G? This is a let's play of Dead Space 3. Hope y'all are excited about it because I'm excited to play this game again. Alright, see you next time. Bye bye.